Hundreds of students are enrolled at the secondary and tertiary institutions managed by Sacred Heart Incorporated. The high school alone enrolls just over 900. But even before a mandatory distance learning strategy was put in place by the government due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the institution had hybrid sessions. So transitioning to completely remote classes was smooth, but still not without its challenges. The high school has always been face-to-face, -face, and now moving on to online teaching, it did definitely entail a lot of investment in technology equipment in order for our teachers to be able to impart online classes. And more than the equipment also was a training that had to come along with that. At the sixth form level, nevertheless, at the junior college, the, some of our teachers were already doing some online classes using Moodle or Canvas, you know, depending on, on, on the, their preferred platform. However, most of the classes were hybrid. Sacred Heart did not discontinue its scholarship assistance program, but had to reduce its contribution. Upwards of 90% of the student population is involved in virtual classes. The teachers have been trained to ensure that they remain engaged in the sessions. For students, the transition from the traditional way of learning was challenging at first, but they have been able to adapt. It's more convenient in terms of just being able to log on to your class. However, I do believe that, you know, other pros would be maybe that it's more cost efficient. In my case, you know, you don't need to go ahead and spend on transportation and you can basically do classes anywhere. At first it was kind of difficult, but I know when you go and you trust in God, everything comes into part. So having online classes might be difficult, but sometimes we have to like do our best and try to um, work with what is going on. So it's not that hard, we just have to work it out. To assist the students with coping during these stressful times, counseling services are available around the clock. This helps with their mental health and addresses uncertainties that may arise from this new way of learning. During the face-to-face, -face, it was minor issues with relationship or with a lecture, with a study group, um, with a course, time management, some kind of stress. But during the pandemic, the cases changed completely to those, I call it daily life stressors, to suicide, depression, anxiety, sleep disorders. Right, I guess the pandemic made everybody scared, everybody worried. Many of them have mastered the platform. Um, the school made a, a consensus that we will be working with only two or three platform instead of everybody doing a different platform. And so if they learn a platform from one course and two or three other lecturers are using it, it makes it easier. And as we found out from President Rocio smith Carbayo, who is also the principal of the high school, the institution maintains a holistic approach to developing the student, even during these COVID times. We believe in developing the student holistically, which is intellectually, physically, emotionally, um, psychologically and definitely spiritually as well and so the school again the investment to reach out to our students and our teachers the school did invest in purchasing zoom you know which is for 1,000 participants so that we would be able to have access to reach out for daily masses we have daily prayers as a matter of fact through zoom at this point in time for the entire faculty and staff Dwayne Moody for News 5.